Hello and welcome back to Jotun or Jotun or whatever your preferred name for this game is. Now, I thought that I was done with the game, I mean I thought that I was not done with the game, then I took it back and decided that okay I'm done and now it turns out that I am not done after all. And the reason for that is that there is a new patch that was released and the SA thread informed me, I'm sorry I forgot your name because I looked through at the thread like two weeks ago or one week ago. And uh, apparently this patch makes some improvements, it's called a quality of life improvements patch. In particular it allegedly speeds up the speed of Thora outside of boss arenas and also adds the restart button to the boss fights. And it also makes some other changes such as uh, it, makes, it fixes some technical issues on, uh, on low-end systems and on Linux. It, uh, adds support for more controllers, but these are the things that I cannot gauge. And uh, I... This video is essentially a trip report, uh, so instead of, well, narrating and analyzing, I decided to just do this live so I could react to the changes instead. So, let's go. Okay, so, uh, yeah, that was a mistake. I should not have gone into the Odin encounter, because in the boss arenas the speed is not changed at all. One moment. Okay, let's go to... Let's go to the Celestial Realm. I don't know, I just like the way it looks. Okay, you know what? It actually feels like the speed is, in fact, increased a little bit. But the keyword is a little bit. Ricky Solar Mauna. Verpum Erlitle Ljose a Thenan Stav. Okay, yes, I must say that this is a rather welcome welcome change compared to the original version of the game. And they are not letting me get to the rune when the level is already cleared. Great. Okay, so... The speed of the attacks seems to be also slightly increased. And the overhead slash is also a little bit faster. Now that is probably gonna be something that is really annoying well, at least I would guess that it's probably a bit annoying for the first time, for the for those of you who are going to play this for the first time after the patch. Because you will first get used to one-timing, and then you'll get to the boss arena, and you will have to be... You'll have to start getting used to a different timing right off the bat, and... I'm not sure whether it's supposed to work like that. Well, let's try that. Yeah, the speed is back to the... to the crawl. Okay, yeah, there's also... there's definitely the difference in speed of the... of the attacks, like, it's... a split second, but it is there. Yep, so, well, these are my thoughts. It's a... you know, the idea, they're going in the right direction, but at the same time, for someone who will be playing this for the first time, I'm not sure how it's supposed to work, because, as I said, you first get used to one thing, and then you have to immediately get used to something else. And by the way, now that I'm thinking about it, how exactly in the world is anyone supposed to uh, LP this live, like, in the, in the final stages when this fight gets hectic, I'm pretty sure it's impossible to talk over it. I'll, even in the beginning I have considerable trouble. Okay, so these are my thoughts. I think they should have just changed it all around because, well, the difficulty of the fights does not... I mean, the difficulty of the final stages of the fights does not become really uh, 
changed and as the fights progress they will progress the same in the same manner they progressed before and what's the purpose of this restart button okay if you have to start all over again from the very get-go what's the purpose of this like you can die in seconds anyway at will I mean yeah that's the, uh, now the restart button this is entirely completely useless you're supposed to be able or rather if I were to make this change I would have uh, I would have restarted the boss at half health, so I would have included a, essentially a checkpoint in the middle of the fight. Because that way the first part of the fight that is rather tedious once it's done, it would not be anywhere near as frustrating because you would only have to get it done once. Now what I'm trying to do here is I want to get to actual half health because, well, who knows, <laughs> maybe, maybe they actually did what I, uh, well, what I would have suggested, except I didn't suggest it to anyone who did not watch any of my crap. However, fortunately, since I am rather powerful, I do not really care about getting hit. So I can just keep the shield up and quickly get her to half health. Oh, come on, it's literally like, she's literally two hits away from the rage mode. There we go. Okay, now let's restart. And yeah, like, this button serves no purpose whatsoever, you can easily get killed at will in a few seconds, like... Okay, there's a useful change, although... Um, I mean, the first change, the change in speed, is useful, but it may bite some newer players, players in the ass, because you have to get used to, uh, to a new timing once you enter the boss arena. And honestly, the boss, the boss fights are what's the most important here. And in fact, the entire purpose of the first uh, section with... Uh, tentacles you you get used to timing you learn how to fight you learn how Thora fights so yeah I think it should have been done it should have been approached a little bit differently and the speed should have been changed all around and the restart button should have also included the possibility to restart not the entire boss fight but only the latter half of it so these are my thoughts, thank you for joining me, and I don't think I will see you next time, at least in Jotun, but who knows? Goodbye.